What's up guys, so we are Trev and Chels. And this is Icon of the Seas. Let's go check it out. You wouldn't believe our excitement when Royal Caribbean invited us to Turku, Finland to check out the world's newest, largest cruise ship. Icon of the Seas will set sail in January 2024. It's about 75% done right now, and it's currently being built by Meyer Turku, a seven-generation family shipyard that started building wooden ships back in 1737. Look at us, so official. Icon of the seas. Thank you. We've got the official jacket. We've got the official Icon of the Seas safety vest. Look at these steel toe boots. So we are just beginning our tour right now. This is insane. Considering the entire ship is a construction site, some of this video is going to have to be voiced over. So our first stop was Surfside. This is a new family neighborhood on Icon of the Seas. Think of it as an updated boardwalk from the Oasis class, so open air and fun for all ages. We are most excited for the new Pier 7 restaurant, we're talking brunch people, and the Lemon Post, which is a new bar that has two menus. One is for adults and one is for kids. Parents can have a cocktail and the little ones get to be involved with having fun drinks and mocktails for them too. We even got to try a sample. Thank this you. is the lemonade taste test. It's good. Cheers, my love. Cheers. I think next time we have this, our uh, outfits are gonna be a little different. I'm sure some of you guys are Royal Caribbean nerds like us. This is the new wind jammer, the 360 glass around the entire thing. Remember guys, Trev and Chels, do not take elevators yeah. on a cruise ship. Here we are. First set of stairs on Icon. Not quite as pretty as they'll be when they're finished, but we love them all the same. So these will be future staterooms, obviously. We're going to see a family infinite balcony right now. <laughs> Beds look comfy. Wow, they even have the headboards up. Look at the chair. We've got like palm fronds, dude, that's <laughs> sick. We're upgrading, look at this. This room we're previewing here is called an infinite balcony and it gives you a roll down window where half of the wall opens up to the elements, to the ocean. So you've got the ultimate indoor outdoor living space. It's one of the 14 new types of rooms on Icon and we may or may not have booked it. So you guys will see it in future vlogs. So the exciting. shower capsules are gone officially. <laughs> yes. Wow. Look at this. Oh, this and nice. every Step in shower there. on Icon of the Seas will have a shower bench as well. Which the what? Ladies, the ladies get it, but the men don't get it. Wait, this is so, this is the smallest bathroom on the ship. The smallest shower. Yeah. What, or the smallest shower, wow. That is very exciting. This is actually really nice. We even have drawers, that's insane. And there's shelves over here? Yeah. There's the... Oh, wow. So you have storage on both sides. And really, wow. this is to maximize for the families. You know, a mom can be getting ready or taking a shower and then the kids can be in here brushing their teeth, getting ready for bed. So a lifesaver for us, typically you're always powering everything right here. Now they've added outlets next to the beds. We've got USBs next to the beds. We've got little shelves here where you can plug in, charge your GoPro or whatever. That's gonna be a game. Oh over. my goodness, look at this. We've got baskets underneath. We've got all of this storage. This mirror opens up. They've thought of everything. This side table is even a little desk. You can move and work from the couch. Vlogs are, are gonna come out even quicker, huh? Okay, you may be thinking this is kind of silly, but even the elevator on Icon is getting an upgrade. They have a new concept where you select your destination on a pad and it tells you what elevator to take and takes you directly there. There's no more stopping on and off every floor to pick up and drop people off. You go exactly where you need to go. These are the plant beds. Obviously Central Park has all the plants, the trees, the everything. 20% more here. Yeah, so as we walk, we can see exactly where all the plants are gonna be through Central Park. And then the deep beds here are where the trees are gonna be, so there's a space for the root system. So imagine a giant tree right here. This is amazing. And honestly, this, I still can't get over the fact that all the rooms are prefab. They said in the factory it takes about 16 minutes to put one together, and they're gonna crane them in and just shoop, stick them into all these holes. You guys know Central Park has always been one of our favorite parts on the ship and it's getting a major upgrade here on Icon. There's going to be more plants, more dining and entertainment options, and even a new champagne bar. 
But most importantly... I think I may have found my new favorite thing about this ship. The Azumi window? They have moved Azumi up to Central Park and it's bigger than it was before. And that right there is a takeout window. You can get a bento box to go and then walk around Central Park with it. It's so crazy that these are gonna be guest rooms in a few months. And right now, it looks like this. Port side of the bridge. This is where our captain lives. Imagine an entire full glass window as you enter. This is where navigation happens. Look up and down, you'll see a lot of cord management. We have to make sure we can get to all of these cords quickly. And in a good amount of time, this is where the brain is at the center of the ship. Up here on the bridge, we got to meet the captain of the ship, Captain Henrik Loy and his team. And we talked a lot about the sustainability efforts surrounding Icon of the Seas. So this is Royal Caribbean's first LNG ship, which is liquid natural gas. It's a much cleaner alternative to traditional marine fuel. They also have some other interesting efforts where, you know, LNG is cold. So they're capturing that cold and using it in the AC systems. When they create waste heat, they're capturing that to help them make water. They're even using AI to help schedule and maximize all of these processes to make it as sustainable as possible and our favorite part is they admitted that they're not perfect and won't ever be perfect they're just going to constantly evolve and push to be better and do better for the planet which is is really cool so crazy to think this is going to be the pool deck at some point <laughs> looks nothing like it right now the next time we're up here we're going to be sweating profusely oh my goodness just in the sunshine on vacation there's going to be music water splashing everywhere right now it's just a giant construction site. So there are seven pools and nine hot tubs on the yeah. ship. And right over here, you can't see it yet, but they're pulling the tarp up over it. That is the largest pool at sea. Over there, that thing, Lime and Coconut. If you guys know, it's like the main pool bar on every Royal ship. It has three levels, including a new frozen cocktail level that has a bunch of frozen cocktail options. Ugh, I just can't wait to see this when we can really enjoy it. And the guest is gonna walk on the outside of that crown and anchor. The floor is gonna drop below. You'll swing around, and so it's kind of a high speed swing, and then you land very fully at our floor. <laughs> wow, look at that Lost Dunes action. I love how they actually have the cups out here can currently. You see the nine foot height? Just imagine the nine foot. <laughs> she told us there's gonna be up to nine feet of undulation she on said one hole. It's gonna actually be really hard. I'm, that, kind of I'm excited so excited about, about that. It's so competitive, it could get nasty out here. And now it's time for what we've all been waiting for the water park. Category six water park is the largest water park at sea. It has the tallest drop slide, the first open free fall slide, the first family raft slides, the first just keep going on. This thing is incredible and we actually get to walk it. Get up there, girl. No way. That's so weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is Hurricane Hunter, and this was UV hand painted. This is sick. We're gonna integrate speakers into the ship. Oh, this is so cool. There's gonna be speakers in it? Yeah, we're gonna have sound. And this is all gonna be UV lit so that you can see it in the dark too. Oh, this is sick. And you can walk over to the end. <laughs> that down there is surfside. No you can way. See how the slide is gonna like completely cantilever over surfside. This is wild. <laughs> Dude, look at the lightning. I love the colors. Oh, that is so cool. Look at the purple. Oh, this is sick. This is so cool. Walking around the slides, watching them install the slides. <laughs> Just up from the slides, we've got the future flow rider facing forward now. Yeah. That's it's interesting. Gonna nice. It's gonna be different, great for photos, get yep. views in the background. And then this has to be one of the things we're most excited for. This is gonna be the hideaway. It's the world's first suspended infinity edge pool at sea. It's gonna be absolutely insane. Obviously, just in in tarps right now but it's gonna be so cool this is fascinating this guy has like a triple walking stick blowtorch it makes all of these lines and this is flattening out the steel of the ship so this is kind of the base layer and then they put whatever materials and things on top of it that we walk on but this is what an actual cruise ship like shell 
looks like with all these lines. We are currently going up the slide tower. Three lanes. Okay. We'll continue that way for the yellow drop slide and then the drop slide will continue this way. The highest part of the ship. Oh! Right next to the stacks. This is so insane that this is on a ship. In just about six months, gonna be stepping up here and going down that slide. Going to check out the pool, the future largest pool at sea. 40,000 gallons. There's no gallons in it right now, but eventually we'll be, be cheers, cheers in a cocktail right here in the sunshine, not under a giant tent. This is the future promenade. It's gonna be so much better on this ship. Floor to ceiling windows, natural light, all kinds of stuff. Look at this. The tiles are going down. I'm the first person one of the first people to step on the promenade. You're so fancy. Babe, the aqua dome. This is basically the very top front part of the ship. So there's gonna be a 55 foot waterfall that goes around that ring up there. That's a part of the shows. They have robotic arms, they have projections. You can see all the projectors down there that project light and things. The whole dome can move and open up and allow light in or close it off. Wow, and to end things off, they've got a little preview for us here in the Aqua Dome. The best Aqua show experience at sea. I gotta say one thing though, please don't take any photos or video when you're up. Goodbye, Icon. We'll see you again soon. Seven months. Oh my goodness. She's beautiful.